Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Your basic Sorgonomics. How you guys doing? How are you doing? No, how are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, today I want to talk about podcasting. <gasps> Shocker! Um, but uh, we were working on this other project, and I was thinking about the purpose going into it, and and wanted to drop back for a moment because I, I, you know, podcasting comes in uh, different shapes and sizes, and people kind of cringe if they're in podcasting, and then and serial is brought up. But of course, hey man, anything that brings more attention to podcasting, I think is worthwhile. Uh, but uh, I, I, you know. If you're starting a podcast, and I'm looking at a lot of my clientele, a lot of uh, uh, people that are asking about starting their podcast and everything, and, and I think I think uh, if you have not yet, you need to look at your motivation and purpose of the podcast. Uh, much like anything else, there's a lot of buzzwording going on. You say, well, we should have a podcast. Great. Okay, cool. What is it? You know, um, you much like, uh, oh, hey, we should have a Twitter account. Okay, why? Who you're talking? Who are you talking to? What's the purpose of this? We should do SEO. Mm, really? Is that is that what you need right now? You know, is that something that's going to actually help your site? And 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 what is SEO these days? I know there's a lot of experts that can tell me that. Don't email me, okay? I have friends that that, that can tell me that, and they are my SEO jedis. Uh, but anyways, uh, but let's specifically look at podcasting. Um, I think you have, uh, for me, when uh, the podcasts I've started uh, that, that are the biggest for me right now are ones that I started because I wanted to get that conversation out there. I wanted to have a voice for the conversation. There weren't business goals for it. There weren't audience goals. There weren't let's have sponsors. Let's get money from this. There was the, uh, in, in both cases, the Wrestling Man Show and the Awesome Cast were initially, hey, I want to try this podcasting thing initially, you know, see, see what we can do with it. 10 years later, um, and in, in both cases, it was having discussions uh, on a consistent basis at gatherings, at parties, uh, wherever, that were of the of a certain nature, where I'm like, this is a really good conversation. I enjoy talking with you, other person, uh, about this topic. I think we should do this on a regular basis and start a podcast. And, uh, and, and everything kind of gelled from there, right? And it's and it's grown, and other people are part of it. And see yesterday's podcast where we talked about it, a community. Uh, so, I mean, it, you know, and 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 again, not much motivation, but it morphs and grows from that. And that's just kind of a personal. I want to have a talking point. I want to have a voice, and that is okay. Not everybody's going to make money from podcasting. Most are not going to make money from podcasting. But if it fills a purpose, then there's a reason, right? You. Don't many are not going to be successful saying I want to go do the nerdist. Okay, I want to go be Chris Hardwick. You know, um, you need to build something. You know, I, I I think for for the common person who hasn't done something like this before, it's different if you're a radio person. I've, I've run into lately a lot of um, public radio people that want to get into podcasting because they want to extend beyond what the local public radio place can do for them. Right. And again, get their voice out there or have another Avenue or, or, or another maybe business opportunity for that. Um, let's talk about the business side of things. Uh, if you're looking to start a podcast to make money in the traditional sense, Oh boy, I hope you have a really good action plan that gets that podcast out there. I hope you have a lot of money to put into it because frankly, I think that's, I think we're getting down to, unless you have something that will get it out there, buddies that will put you in the paper and the news and all the big websites and get a lot of attention. If you got a really good angle, um, but typically to get it out there, uh, there was, uh, there was an article that I initially disagreed with, but the more I think about it, um, if you want to get a podcast up to the, you know, magical 5,000 mark where you can start attracting advertisers, you need to start pouring money into it in like Facebook ads or whatever the case may be to get people onto it, to get people attached to it. And uh, you're only going to get, uh, again, unless you have something special that, that catches on fire and goes viral. But again, you can't manufacture viral. You can try, but you but but the people ultimately decide that, right? And the thing that you did that captures people's attention um YouTube is filled with the carcasses of failed viral videos, for instance. But so there's that. There's, okay, I want to be the business side. You know, I mean, it's different if you're somebody that comes from TV and radio and maybe has a bit of a following that people will just hop aboard and follow you out. 
I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me, you know. Um, there's little reason for somebody to go start a new podcast of mine, except for if they're already listening to, you know, ones that I do. Now, if you're a business, you know, uh, let's say you don't want to, you know, you know, you don't need the podcast to be the product. The podcast can be the helper, right? Uh, for clients that we work with, the podcast, the whole point of the podcast is to inform and extend the conversation, uh, have a conversation with the people involved, and again, further show them as experts. I'm really big on this. Um, I'm, I'm the, showing the people that, that I'm working with that they're the experts in the topic. And you should go to them for X service, right? Or you should go for them for X projects. I don't know. Lego does a, a, a Lego podcast, right? Um, um, you know, for, for us, uh, our behavioral therapy people did do podcasts to talk about the topics like mindfulness, like anxiety, like depression. And you get a little more information about those topics that is handy when you walk in the door. And you've also sort of met and know what the personality is of the person that you're going to be talking with and probably revealing a lot about yourself to. And, and, and so there's that initial bit there. It's kind of an introduction slash an informative thing slash now there's this library of content. So it's like, hey, um, you know, that, you know, I think you, you know, I, I don't know if this is how it goes, but hey, we're, we're in counseling, blah, 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 blah. This is what a 12 step program is about. And, and, and here's, here's the videos to, to talk about that. Now it's reference material outside of paying X amount an hour sit in front of, uh, a, you know, a counselor or a therapist. Uh, now you can take, now you have homework. <laughs> you have, you have an information packet. That's not a packet. Right, that in the typical sense, and uh, and 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 that makes that process hopefully more efficient for them, for the customer as well, or just informative, informative, um, in general. You know, if you're if you're something that like you know we just want to, uh, you know, one group I'm I'm I'm, I'm open to uh, get working with here uh, just want something that's informational. You know, uh, for for a project that they're doing that's on a regular basis. They just want to be clear. And, and be able to to uh, have another avenue to 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 talk to their participants, right? Um, or maybe just fun, or maybe just advertising. You know, maybe, maybe you know whatever the case may be. You know, uh, Red Bull doesn't need to send people to Europe to barter across town. That is an advertising ploy, right? Uh, but great if these uh, kids from Point Park end up going to Europe and and having having this great thing and represent Pittsburgh in this really kind of interesting adventure thing. And hey, Red Bull gets mentioned a lot. Okay, um, a podcast can be the same thing for that too. It's an advertising thing. Maybe they have a podcast around this uh, Red Bull. You can make a thing. And look, now I'm talking about it on my podcast. It's working. Um, that's why people do these weird advertising things, right? Uh, it, it, but but they could do something around that as well. Um, maybe maybe it's to inform more about a product. Um, I've seen. I don't know about podcasts being uh, the proper thing for it, but something like an iFixit or a uh, or, or or these hardware store not hardware but these computer hardware stores um, and everything a mono price I believe as well they have videos they have YouTube videos to inform a podcast no but still content 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 maybe a podcast isn't right for you maybe you are a more visual medium that needs to have video. Uh, maybe instead of having a 15-minute podcast, an hour podcast, you know, you're better off with the three-minute video and put those out there. You know, it's also a thing about what will your audience react to. So, you know, and and again, let's boil back down to if you're the person that wants to start a podcast, what are your motivations? What are your expectations? I think your expectations should be um, low to begin with. Uh, I, I, I think uh, if you're just starting off, um, again, we'll reiterate the 10 podcast rule. Uh, typically, if you're a first timer or, or you have a new configuration or a new show concept, don't really tell anybody about that, that show for the first 10 episodes. And then uh, once you're ready to go and feel confident, then like, hey, guys, we have this show. And if it's something that's not a weekly news thing that you have to worry about time, then now you have like, boom, hey, we're here. And we already got 10 of these things you can go listen to, right? Um, I think that's a, a really good concept and that really kind of uh, gets you loaded. And it's a nice little hack from what I understand. If you just kind of open up with 10 episodes and, and submit to iTunes and you get people on board right away, that can actually help you in your new, new, new and noteworthy uh, kind of raisings to, ratings to pop up there uh, from what I understand. So um, 
So think about that. What you know? What is your purpose to podcast? Why are you there? Are you are you a podcaster? Hi, welcome. Um, if you are, what was your purpose when you started your podcast? And 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 has that changed? Actually, has your has your has the mission statement of your podcast changed? Why are you podcasting? Uh, if you are looking to podcast and you're trying to answer those questions, please feel free hit me up at Sorgatron on Twitter. I uh, love to uh, talk with you about that. And, uh, and check out everything at Sorgatron.com. Uh, if, you, if you plug in podcasting, or uh, I think I do have a category over there, there'll be a lot of information. A lot of these uh, discussions as well hopefully help you help your process a little bit as you're developing something new and cool and interesting. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Go Please sign up for the newsletter. Check out all the sites, SorgatronMedia.com, SidekickMediaServices.com. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.